We're going to introduce gravity to make a platformer in Scratch. The platformer, one of the most classic genres of video game. Scratch is perfect for making platformers, but you will need a good understanding of how variables work. The other thing we'll need is some if else logic and some appreciation of color detection for sprites and backgrounds. But that's enough talk, let's jump straight into it. All right, let's get to this. We're gonna to switch to the stage and we're gonna start some painting. So let's go to backdrops. I prefer this to be in bitmap mode and I'm gonna draw some simple platforms that are gonna be a certain color. Doesn't really matter what color you pick as long as they are a different color to everything else. We finished painting and one thing I will say is make sure these base pieces are fairly thick. If they're really skinny, is in only a couple of pixels thick, your character might fall through the bottom. Let's switch back to our cat and our scripts and begin the scripting. So the first thing we're gonna do is to create a variable and I'm gonna call it gravity. Let's come to events and drag out a couple of when green flag clicked. Now we'll come to control and get out some forevers. For the first one, we're gonna to come to data and at the beginning of the game, set our gravity to zero. And then after that, we're going to change our Y by whatever gravity is set to. And to do that, we drag that over the top instead of the 10. What we've told it is at the start of the game, reset it, but then change our Y, our up and down by whatever gravity is set to. So if our gravity was set to one, the character would move up at a rate of one. If the character was to go down, that means it'd be a minus value. So something like minus 10, it'd go down fast and so forth. All right, next script. Let's run one on this side and it's also gonna be forever. And we're gonna have an if then else. We are gonna come to sensing and we're gonna find the color detection. We're gonna take this one here, drag it out and set the color to the color of the platform. And now you can see why it was very important that these were all matching, even though the backgrounds can have some variation. So we're going to tell it that when it's on the platform to set the gravity to zero. So let's do that from data. Then we're going to say otherwise, therefore if it's in midair, we're going to change the gravity by a minus number. That's because as you're falling, you're constantly accelerating towards the ground. So let's put the cat somewhere over here and hit the green flag. They should drop until they reach there. And we should be able to test this from different heights onto different platforms. And it works as intended. You can see on this one just here, when we're going faster, there's a chance that it can go a little bit through the platform. This is why we need it thicker. Otherwise it might miss the detection. We have gravity. We kind of have a platformer, but we don't have any keyboard controls. So let's set those up now. All right, this is all being covered in an earlier video, so click on the card if you haven't seen that and you don't know how to do it. So let's start the game again, and we can now move side to side, including when we're in mid-air. Only problem is we can't jump, so that's gonna be one of our last inputs. We're gonna do this straight from events. We're gonna start with when the space key is pressed, and then we're gonna come to data, and this one's actually really simple. All we need to do is set gravity to a positive number, because we know that our character is forever going to move by whatever gravity is set to. Therefore, if it's a positive number, it's going to be heading up. But then it's going to be in mid-air, which is going to bring in this one. It'll be going up by 9, then 8, then what, 7, and then eventually to go past 0 and into the negative numbers, which is going to make it fall back down again. So let's reset everything and play with the keyboard. Okay, we have a realistic motion there. Oh, and we found our first bug. Once we get across to here, we can see that Scratch the Cat can hit its head on these platforms, just like this, and then therefore it stops moving. To get around this, we're gonna up the complexity of our color detection by just a little bit. We're gonna come to costumes. We're gonna zoom right in so we can see the feet. And then I'm gonna draw some different color shoes over the top. So I'll make sure it's on a solid fill 
And once again, this must be whatever color you like, but the same color. I'm gonna go for pink shoes here. It's a very crude drawing style I'm doing. Obviously, you can spend some more time if you want yours to look a lot nicer than this. There's a little bit of black poking through there, so I'm just gonna try this one more time. So I come down, there we go, just past the level of the black outline. Okay, back on here, we're gonna remove that one and we can see since we've broken the script, Scratch the Cat falls through the ground and gravity is continuing to go down because as we've told it, if we're not touching something, then gravity must be going down by minus one. I'm gonna come back to sensing and we're gonna drag out the one with the two colors. Pop it into place. I'm gonna actually have to stop this and lift up the cat so we can get our eyedropper. We'll say when the color of shoes is touching the platform, then lock it to zero. Otherwise, fall down. Let's test this. Okay, we can see our head now goes through. But we have another glitch. Basically, we can jump in mid-air, so let's fix that one next. Not so much a glitch, but a way for people to cheat, and a game where you can cheat completely probably isn't gonna be any fun. To get around this, we're gonna to come to Control, and we're gonna have an if-then. And we're gonna put our set gravity to 10 inside that, which means we now have a condition. And that condition is gonna be that we are touching the platform. So let's duplicate our color, put it in here, and now when we hit the green flag, I can press whatever I want in midair, but absolutely nothing is happening until I'm on the platform again. Didn't quite make the jump there, and now I am doomed. Okay, so how do we tweak this? Well, the numbers in our scripts are how we change the speed. So if we want to increase our left and right speed, we can make this number bigger for move steps. If we want to change how aggressive our gravity is, let's pretend we're on Jupiter or something like that. We simply put in a larger number. And of course, by larger, I mean a smaller number because it's a negative number. So let's stop that, move our cat up and hit the flag. And you can see it drops really, really fast now. So if I hit spacebar, I can hardly get off the ground. If we want to change how high we can jump, we can change the number here. However, I wouldn't recommend doing this with such a big gravity number. So let's come back, set it to minus one, and imagine they had twice as strong legs. So let's reset, and now my cat can jump really, really high. Probably far too high. We're gonna modify the background to show you one more potential problem, and of course, a solution. So we can see that we've added this other platform here and it's quite close. Let's put the gravity to something much more realistic like 13 and restart. And when I jump, you can see that I have this really horrible motion where it locks into place as soon as it touches it. So instead of coming up and then smoothly down like here, as soon as it hits it, it drops into place. Fortunately, this is a really easy fix. We're gonna add a second command in here. So it checks for two things instead of one before it sets the gravity to zero. So to do that, we're gonna to come to operators and drag out an and. We're gonna take our color detection and put it on the left-hand side and then place this in our if then. And then we're gonna come back to operators and get a less than grip. Second last step, we're gonna take gravity put it in the left hand side of that. And now we're gonna type in a number to finish and that number is gonna be the smallest number we can that's not zero, so 0 0.1. Let's reset this, lift it back up. Start the game again. Okay, so as we're jumping up, we'll have a positive number gravity and then it will get smaller, 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 hit zero. And then as we start to fall back down, it will accelerate again. What we've done here is told it that if it's a positive number, we're still traveling up, we do not want this to kick in. So even though our feet pass through the blue, it still has a smooth deceleration and it works much, much, much more realistically. 
This means you can have levels like the one we have here where all the parts overlap and you don't need to worry about your character just bouncing off really randomly and without control or the player cheating and being able to jump to the top without any skill required. Now this example is of course of a static background. It's not moving. This will work just as well for a scrolling background. And how do you make a nice scrolling background? Well, that's going to be coming up in a future video. So there we have it. Hopefully that was useful for you in making your first platformer in Scratch. What you've seen here is just a basis that we can build a lot more onto. And that's exactly what we're going to do in a future episode. So subscribe if you want to see more tutorials on how to use Scratch and learn how to program. Bye bye. G'day, it's Michael again. If you like the video, then please click like. If you want to see more content like this in future, click subscribe and make sure you click on the bell to receive every notification. If you really want to support the channel and see exclusive content, become a patron. Visit my Patreon page. See you next time.